This is a little video of how to take out your DI2 battery from your seat stem. So things you're going to need, Allen key for your uh, seat post clamp, electrical tape, circuit pliers that are out springing, you see when I let go it springs outwards look, they are other ones that actually spring inwards so you need the outward springing ones, a pair of scissors and then this is the little tool I think it's um, EW300, um, it's called out on your little cheat sheet. You don't need this, but this is the correct tool. So I'll show you how to use it, but you don't necessarily need it. First things first, over to the bike. Make sure you add some electrical tape to your seat post so that you don't have to keep setting the height every time. Under your seat clamp, I'm doing this one handed, so I do apologise. And slide your seat post, hopefully, it comes out as easy as this. And you'll see that you've got your cable at the bottom. Okay, I'm just going to rest that on the pedal. Right, so this little tool fits into that little groove there. Try and get it to focus. And you'll see. I've just put some upward pressure on the uh, on the connector and it's come away from the battery that sits in the bottom of the seat stand. So okay. I've taken the seat out um, and now what I've done is I've put a piece of electrical tape and taped the cable so that it can't disappear back down inside the seat tube because the last thing you want to do is spend time fishing that back out of there. Also a good tip as well is just to put a little bit of torque into the uh, tube clamp that way then it won't pop off and you won't be trying to go and find a new tube clamp when you get to uh, wherever you're going so now we have oops now we have the top of the uh, the seat tube you can see the battery in there and you can see the circlip with the two little holes so i'm going to try and do this one-handed so bear with me so take your pliers Pop them into the two little holes in the circlip and squeeze inwards and the circlip should lift away like that. Then your battery should just then lift out with the washers on top. That's the circlip that's come out and then there are two washers on the top. One of them is a beveled washer so it's got a little bit of a bevel on it like a spring washer and one of them is just a standard washer there we go standard washer the standard washer always goes on top the spring one goes just underneath it and then on the battery like i said there's two little plastic shims so they're just under my fingers i'll just take them off okay now there's a groove on the battery just there and there's a group corresponding groove on the inside of those shims so you can't really get it wrong so what I tend to do is I leave the shims on the battery and use a piece of electrical tape just to fasten them on. Okay, so what I've done, a bit of tape around those shims so they can't come off. And then what I've also done is I've taped the washers together as well as the circlip and then taped them to the battery. I then put them in a Ziploc bag in my hand luggage and that's it. That's as much as you need to do. And then basically the... Uh, the reassembly is a reverse of that, so I'll show you that right now. Okay, so putting the battery back in. So again, make sure you put your shims on. You've got those two lugs located in the groove on the battery, and then simply slide the battery back into your seat post and push it down as far as it will go. There we go. Try and move out the light so you can see. Then get your spring washer doesn't matter which way around it goes pop that in the top like that then your flat washer again doesn't matter which way around it goes pop that in the top like that and then your c-clip roughly pop that in now inside this metal um, ring here is a groove and that c-clip actually fits inside that groove so all we're going to do is Stick your circlip pliers in to those two holes. It's a bit fiddly, um, so I'll just pause and I'll come back when I've fixed it. So it is a little bit fiddly, 
um, but with a bit of perseverance you'll get it in. Um, what you'll see then is once it's in, if you put the, the tool in one of the holes, you should be able to rotate the C-clip. That means that it's, it's fully engaged into the, um, into the groove inside that ring there. Uh, and then it's a case of then taking it back over to the bike, uh, disconnecting your piece of electrical tape that you've used to hold the cable. All you need to do is push the end of that connector back on until you hear a click. And then it's just a case of feeding the cable back down the seat tube like so, and then obviously uh, release the torque on your seat tube clamp, like I forgot to, and then slide your seat down all the way down until your tape just meets your uh, clamp. Line your seat up, line your seat clamp up as well because mine's twisted. Get your torque wrench and as you can see on it's quite clear on there it's four newton meters so I'll just tighten it loosely and then get my torque wrench click and job's good it's as simple as that.